It's time for some Market Monday, baby. Welcome back again. It has been such a long off season with no Market Mondays, but we're back again here for MLB The Show 22. It's currently March 21st. We got a week and a half until MLB The Show launches. There's no better time to start preparing your night one plans. If y'all been around in 20 and 21, y'all know that night one, that first week and that first week, some of the best of making opportunities the entire year will be available right on launch and so i'm here to make sure y'all are ready to take advantage of that if this is the first market monday you're seeing a quick rundown this is a weekly series that we do throughout the entire year until the content cycle stops and over the show where we break down everything you need to be doing to make stubs in this game if you want to be no money spent and if you want to limit how much money you're spending this is going to be the place for you to be market monday is where it's at I'm gonna make sure y'all are rolling in stubs all year long. Everything I do all year, I'm gonna be sharing with y'all here in these Market Mondays, so be ready. If you haven't, be sure to sub to the channel as well. If you wanna be making stubs, comment will be the show 22. We know we all do, so be sure to sub, have the notice on, stay up to date with everything going on. Let's go ahead, let's hop in, and let's look at my night one, weekend one, week one plans here for only the show 22, and how we can start ourselves on the best foot forward to capitalize and have success for the entire year. It starts with that good foundation. First thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna get our pre-order bonuses. We are gonna rip open those packs. For example, if you have the digital deluxe edition, you're gonna get 20 standard packs, five gold choice packs, the diamond choice pack, and the cover athlete diamond choice pack as well. We are gonna be ripping all of those packs open. I'll throw up the pre-order bonuses on the screen right now. You can see them all. Even if you just get the MVP edition, that's coming with 10, two gold choice packs. Even just pre-ordering the standard edition, you're gonna get five show packs as long as you're playing on next gen with that 10K stubs as well. That's going to help kickstart the game for us. But the most important thing we're going to do is we are going to come in and sell everything that we pull from those packs. For the most part, there'll be a couple caveats that we'll talk about here in a minute. I want to show a couple examples from my night one here, and it will be the show 21. So let's head over. Let's look at my completed orders. So looking at these orders right here, we can see a guy like Tyler Wells, probably a bronze or a silver on release. We're selling for a thousand stubs. JD Martinez. He was a he was a gold i believe on release for 2049 subs we have some bronzes and silvers we're selling for 797. Lil lee for a thousand stubs these guys are bronzes and silvers here we're getting almost a thousand stubs each for these ops now ryan mcmahon i completed that early out the gate that was 12,000 stubs this gold yearman mercedes tops now was nine 9100 stubs we had 16k from our 42 series pedro i'm selling jerseys for 2000 subs i'm selling uh badges and equipment for 1500 subs baltimore orioles bp road 5000 stub jerseys those are just free things that i got from packs from my pre-order bonuses again we have some comments here it even looks like selling for 500 stubs we are able to capitalize on the inflated market at release and make quite a bit of stubs from what we're able to sell i mean golds like gary sanchez and brandon Lau selling close to 2,000 stubs and it doesn't seem like a lot it may not be a ton of stubs but again early in the game it is all about building our bankroll we need that bankroll built up we need to have stubs to work with it's gonna take stubs to make stubs and this is how we're gonna be capitalizing on that so if you get your 20 bundle your gold choice packs your diamond choice packs your cover athlete packs you get all those things those are gonna be things that we are going to want to come through and sell uh again look right here Giancarlo Stan. he was not a diamond on release he was a gold player but he's a big name he's a solid gold bat out the gate 6600 stubs that is extremely extremely beneficial to starting out our bankroll we can see a guy like out of earth Mondesi, a silver on release 2400 stubs there is a lot of stubs to be had here on release just going through and selling everything build up that bankroll from that we can start working on some investments and those type of things but in just terms of like straight night one hour one 
I'm opening those packs. I'm selling everything I can. I'm capitalizing on this inflated market. I know what you're going to say. We got to go back and buy those cards anyway if we're going to do collections, right? That is very, very true. But these cards are going to be significantly more inexpensive. Again, we want to take a look at the example of Giancarlo Stanton. I sold Stanton for 6,600 stubs. By the time I went back and completed the Yankees, he was a gold at that time, hovering around quick sell value, so 1,000 stubs. I saved myself 5,000 stubs just by selling Stanton when I could capitalize on that price being inflated and then go back in after a couple days as the market starts to settle down then you can come in and start picking up some pieces as well in terms of what you're using on your team there's going to be plenty of ways to acquire free cards that you can use on your team you won't need to be utilizing these players that you get from packs now there are going to be a couple exceptions to this rule of selling everything the first thing is going to be with high diamond 90 plus overall players as people acquire more subs throughout the year, those subs are then put into these high diamond players to finish collections. And we actually see their price increase. We can see right here, Mike Trout, this was release night last year, 399 on the buy now, dropped down to about 355 a couple days later. But if we continue down his trajectory, we can see as we get into the summer months, 530,000 on the buy now. So an increase of about 130K. His price went up over the two months from launch into the June months. That was a trend that continued. So if you waited two months to buy Mike Trout, you now had to spend another 130,000 stubs. And every stub counts when it comes to completing these collections. So these 90 plus guys, I would hold on to those. Another example we'll look at here. We're looking at the price trend now here for a guy like Jacob DeGrom. 122,000 stubs for his buy now on release night. Got down to pretty much close to 100K, 109, 110 or so, about a week into the game cycle. But again, we now look into the summer months. Hovering around 110 out the gate, we're touching 200K, 250K even, 251 there, 270. So you can see, I like DeGrom went up 150,000 stubs over the course of the first two months. That is a pretty consistent trend with most of these 90 plus overall guys. So if you are looking to buy cards out the gate, or you're looking to keep some cards that you pulled from packs, if you pull a 90 plus diamond, I would hold on to that as that price is going to increase. And if you're looking to pick some guys up for a cheaper price than they will be at, essentially for the majority of the game's life cycle, those are going to be those 90 plus diamonds. Those really like to trend upwards as the game goes on. Now, another card type I want to talk about, 42 series Ken Griffey Jr. This year, of course, we're not getting the 42 series that we know of. Could still be in the game, I suppose. But we do know that we are getting a pre-order diamond choice back again, like we had with these 42 series legends last year. And we're getting the cover athlete pack. I would assume it's going to include a very similar amount of cards that we had in the 42 series choice pack last year and operate in a very similar fashion. So there could be some discussion on whether you should hold or sell the cover athlete choice pack. So let's take a little quick look at the trend line of a guy like King Griffey Jr. from last year and discuss what my thoughts are and what I'm going to be doing on these type of cards. So we can see on release this King Griffey Jr. 26,000 on the buy now went up to 30 relatively quickly. And as we look through, we can see hovered around 30 down to 25K for a while as some of these more packs got released into the market. And eventually we did see their price climb up into the 40s as we got going here. A big key with that is you needed the Jackie Robinson that you got from these 42 series as part of those collections to get Mo, to get Mookie, to get Kershaw, to get players of that nature. That did drive the price up of these quite a bit. But you can see about two months in and we have an increase in price of about 20k now of course you extrapolate that it's extrapolation season we're back baby you extrapolate that over the 10 cards in that 42 series you're talking 200k stubs it's not insignificant by any stretch of the matter but in an individual basis a 20k increase in price over two months to me does not justify holding on to those out the gate of course we don't know what is going to be tied to those we don't know what sort of collections there could possibly be with that would not surprise me to see some sort of collection with those cover athletes 
definitely diamonds maybe mixed in with some team affinity one guys as that is a trend that they followed in the past but again for me it's about building that bankroll night one i need stubs to flip with i need stubs to invest with that is how i am going to make stubs it doesn't make sense for me to wait two months uh, to hold on to that 42 series card just to save 20k over two months i can take that 25k for selling him night one and turn that into much much more than just an additional 20k over the course of two months i can turn that 25k into millions if we play our cards right with our investments and our flipping so for me i will most likely be selling that cover athlete diamond choice pack depends on the market of course i'd be aiming for a similar price to what we had here with griffey 25 30k maybe even 35k to hold on just a little bit but again for me it's about building up that bankroll and that is going to do that in a massive way now let's have a real quick discussion about flipping obviously it's impossible to say what you should necessarily be flipping all night one we don't know what the market's going to look like i will say we will be live on twitch release night and the next day going through making stuff so hit up the link down in the description below for that if you want to follow along live with what we're going to be doing making stubs but last year there were a ton of flipping opportunities that first night through that first weekend through that first week really so definitely keep your eyes peeled on the marketplace of course we'll be having more videos just like this going over some of the details but be on the lookout for non-traditional things let's show off a couple orders last year that i was able to pull to show off some of the areas i was looking at and some areas are going to be looking out again coming will be 22. we're looking out the gate everybody's trying to flip players and that really lowers the margin on those it can be an opportunity we're only making a couple hundred subs per flip but if you widen your horizons a little bit and look for some other things there can be a lot of flipping opportunities in the past i've really loved equipment especially gold equipment out the gate there can be a lot of really awesome margins there you can even look into jerseys possibly some stadiums as well to some degree last year though the big money maker was the ball player perks those were brand new so definitely do not expect the insane margins we had last year as nobody really knew about these where they were in the market how you got them etc but look at this last year i bought velocity five ball player perk for 25 subs and less than a minute later sold it for 2400 subs that is printing subs as easy as it gets i'm buying a ton here for 25 subs a piece we come in here we'll find a couple sales there's a contact that i bought for 25 and then immediately sold for 2200 so again you want to talk about that is the best you can do flipping you cannot do any better with that and this is a 20 second difference 824 40 and 824 22 we're talking an 18 second difference to make 2000 stubs more than 2000 subs you will not find better flipping at any point in the year again i wouldn't expect it to be this crazy this year but there will be some insane flips out there that is a guarantee you just got to be astute you got to be looking for them you got to find them don't be so bought in that you have to flip players or you have to flip a certain overall look at equipment look at our perks look at our stadiums look at our sponsorships look at possibly any other card type that they add into the game this year who knows be on the lookout for those things there could be a ton of flipping opportunity with those especially early on we can make a ton of stubs and one more note on flipping at the end of the day let's look for quantity over quality out the gate if i can flip 10 cards for a thousand stubs each time over a 30 minute window that is much better than flipping one card for 2000 or 3000 subs over that same 30 minute window let's work with quantity which is where it comes in you got to have subs to make subs you got a lot of stubs you can flip in mass quantity and you can really start rolling with that bankroll final thing we are going to mention here in terms of my day one night one plans that is our programs what we're going to be attacking on as we mentioned earlier packs can be very valuable out the gate the price of cars are extremely inflated so we love packs we want to get as many packs as we can so we're going to try to identify where we can get the most packs again if i can pull some insane cards early on and sell them for a lot of stubs i'm set up for the entire year this year team affinity we had one for each division you can see as we're going through we have our team affinity packs we have our ball and as a habit packs even these bronze silver divisional packs bronzes and silvers early on in the game can be worth four five six hundred subs a piece which do not seem like a lot but when you stack those up on each other and if you sell a hundred silvers at 600 subs a piece you've suddenly made yourself 60k stubs and everything matters out the gate we continue that on with the ball and his habit packs maybe you get lucky pull an insane 90 plus diamond a mike trout somebody of that nature 
four team affinity packs and these team affinity packs assuming that they return this year these just act the exact same as show packs so whether they're team affinity packs whether they're show packs whatever packs we can earn out the gate they are the exact same and we are wanting to open those same with the ballons we want those gold those gold players are hot out the gate more bronze and silver more team affinity packs I'm going to be really focused on wherever we can find free packs in this game, whether that's Conquest, Team Affinity, some sort of program, a player program. We don't even know what Mini Seasons is, but if Mini Seasons somehow gives you a ton of packs, I am going to be focusing on that one. I'll take a little luck on my side. Maybe I pull a Mike Trout. You never know how that goes. Somebody's got to pull one and that kick starts everything but if not i have a bunch of bronzes silvers and hopefully some golds and diamonds as well to go through and sell and build up my bankroll as quickly as possible so then i can reinvest those stubs into flipping especially with the mobile app this year going to be flipping a ton out the gate while playing the game mobile app up we're flipping over there we're playing the game here we are going to be rolling in stubs so quickly in summary sell 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 we're looking to sell everything take advantage of the inflated market so we can use that to be flipping cards maybe starting our initial roster update investments even though opening day won't be until a week after the show launches if you have some guys on your radar not a bad time to start investing getting in on them early if the price is low enough outside of that we're going to look at our programs where can we get free packs from whether it's conquest mini seasons team affinity player program mini program whatever it is where can we get some free packs hopefully we get a little bit lucky but if not we have a ton of volume to sell and build up our stub count even more and then finally we are going to identify where the best flips are as we identify those best flips we can use the bankroll of stubs we have built up to then begin flipping increase that bankroll continue to build it up and then at that point prices set a little bit we start coming through knocking out some collections saving some stubs for some investments on flash shell new conquest maps crashing the market all the fun things it's gonna take stubs to make stubs so it's all about getting as much volume of cards and packs as you can out the gate to turn those into your stubs at that point you are going to be sitting pretty rolling in stubs yet you, you take advantage of the first month to two months of the game you won't have to worry about stubs hardly the rest of the year that is what we got here episode one of market monday it is gonna be an awesome year just a week and a half or so away from the launch of the show 22 if you got any questions about the market what you should be doing early on anything i didn't cover in this video hit me up down in the comment section below i will do my best to respond to as many as possible and help people out of course you can always swing by our twitch streams down in the description you can find that link come by ask me any questions leading up to the launch as always y'all enjoyed this video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe until next time i'll catch y'all around